holy shnikes. Alyssa Milano gets pwned on the Twitter spheres yesterday with her comments regarding Elon Musk, free speech, and Tesla. And it's probably one of the most hilarious tweets that I've ever seen. I literally had to go over to the account yesterday to make sure that this was not a parody account. And the replies are, Mwah! they're priceless. Let's bring this up from the Gateway Pundit. Clueless leftist Alyssa Milano attacks Elon Musk over the dangers of free speech. Then our old tweets start to pop up. I'm actually going to go down to the tweet here. I'm not going to get too much into the article because this is the this is the best part of everything. So, you know, as everybody knows, Alyssa is one of these Z-list celebrities, leftist lobotomist uh, tweeters that's literally on Twitter 24 hours a day. Uh, orange man bad, all that, you know, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, it was funny prior to Elon buying Twitter, uh, you know, she was so pro Elon, you know, all these, uh, the, the Tesla cars they're making, they're amazing. Uh, what he's doing for our space program is amazing. Yada, yada, yada. So anyway, uh, she comes up with this tweet and says, uh, I gave my, I gave back my Tesla. I bought a, a VW EV. I love it. I'm not sure how advertisers can buy space on Twitter. A publicly traded company's product being pushed in alignment with hate and white <laughs> doesn't seem to be a winning business model. Well, <laughs> the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire, the reply <laughs> started to uh, list some facts here for Alyssa. She didn't know. Uh, 1937, May 28th, Volkswagen was founded. And uh, yeah, as Alyssa doesn't know that in 1937 on May 28th, it was founded by Hakamila <laughs> and the National Socialist Nazis Party forming a new state-owned automobile company. <laughs> so <laughs> you, know, you didn't want to be aligned with hate speech and white supremacy, but she went out and bought a VW to uh, support the, uh, the Reich. And then a lot of her old tweets, of course, everybody started burying her on Twitter. And here's an old tweet that turned up and was shared by a cat turd. And it says, you're such a great judge of character. And the fine gentleman that Alyssa is standing next to is Michael Avenatti. And if you don't know who that is, Michael Avenatti is an ex-lawyer that was the lawyer of the porn actress Sloppy Daniels. And Sloppy Daniels made a lot of allegations against Donald Trump in 2016 as he was running for president. She ended up putting a book together detailing all of these allegations. And this fine gentleman here was found guilty in court of reporting about $300,000 of her, of her book deal money. And then went on to find another investigation that he was extorting Nike as well. And that went to court and eventually he ended up <laughs> getting four years in prison. So it just, it keeps getting better for Alyssa. And as we go down, you see all of the old tweets that Alyssa put out about how great Elon was prior to buying Twitter. And here's some of the old tweets here. I'll read a few of them. I'm in awe of Elon Musk. And I continue to be amazed by my Tesla motors, my Tesla car and design your own car. You can click here. And she put her little hyperlink up there that you can go on and uh, design your car. She says, oh, I love you both. Congratulations, Elon. You know, she was, I told my four-year-old about SpaceX landing a rocket on water. I guess it inspired him. She was so pro Elon, so pro SpaceX, so pro Tesla, all prior to Elon Musk buying Twitter. And now that he's bought Twitter, oh my God, it's going to be hate speech and white supremacy, and it's going to be bedlam and I can't stand it. And it's unbelievable. Now, again, I just wanted to show you this really quick because I found this hilarious as well. This wasn't really the first time that she ever got really pwned on uh, the interwebs, but uh, remember this tweet here from May 23rd, 2020, and you can't make this stuff up. She says, show me your mask. Mask, keep people safe. 
and healthy. Show me yours. Ready, go. And she puts the hashtag wear a mask. And she or she has, it looks like her husband's wearing like one of those K95 masks. The kids have more of a cloth mask. But you can't make this up. She's wearing a crocheted mask. And this just goes on and on. And I have to say that uh, one of the best <laughs> replies to this is certainly no evidence that a knit mask will keep you safe. <laughs> and it's got these it's got these hilarious pictures that zoom in on the crocheted mask <laughs> that has holes in it. I mean, you can't uh, you can't make this up. And she was trying to say that she had a carbon filter supposedly behind this mask. And uh, we know that's all bullshit, but uh, I had to bring attention to that because uh, you, you just really can't make any of this stuff up. It just keeps only getting better. But like I said, I will leave the link to the full tweet down below. So if you want to go back and actually read the tweet and read the replies, they're they're priceless. I mean, you can't you can't make this stuff up. And uh, I'm sure that you're going to hear more about this, and people will be monitoring the account. I know that I'm going to be now jumping back on Twitter. And, uh, and checking out the, the melee and the bedlam over there because it's only going to get better and only get more interesting as these leftists continue to lose their mind on Twitter. If you guys like the content here today, please make sure to go down and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so every time I drop a new video, you'll be informed. Give this video a thumbs up and always, always, always leave a comment below. I will be back with another one. And remember to keep it loud and keep it live. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.